dash two for relative to economic development a volunteer to read i will read it resolution two thousand nine dash twenty four a resolution a resolution relative to economic development first reading twelve twenty one oh nine um, adoption twelve twenty one oh nine whereas the town council has designated community economic development as its primary goal for the past several years and whereas town voters have embraced this goal by appropriating significant resources for the design planning marketing and construction of various projects to enhance economic development opportunities and whereas a key component to successful economic development program is the retention and creation of quality jobs and whereas the economic development in Londonderry needs to reflect community aesthetics goals and land use planning priorities and whereas the state legislature during its investigation of additional re revenue sources has discussed the merits of expanding expanded gaming in the state and whereas in addition to dispro disproportionately increasing communities traffic burden and impacting the quality of life factors important to our residents gaming does not produce the quality of jobs envisioned in the town's community economic development plan and whereas currently the state legislature has not authorized expanded gaming within the state. So move, Mr. Chairman. Oh, yeah, there's another the paragraph. Piece. Okay. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Council of the Town of Londonderry continues to support an active, vibrant, and diverse economic development strategy, a strategy that does not envision gaming as an appropriate land use in the town. Therefore, expanded gaming should not be encouraged or included in the town's economic development strategy or marketing materials and public presentations. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Uh, let me just start out by saying that, as Dave's backup material says, uh, I'm the person who brought this forward. Uh, I requested that uh, the resolution be put together and presented to the rest of the council at this meeting for discussion. Uh, my reasons are pretty simple. Uh, I, I, this is an issue that uh, causes some concern for me uh, as one individual member of the council and also a, a resident of the town for, for 19 years at this point. Uh, and the, the reason I brought this forward is uh, I've been, uh, I've attended several presentations that have been made uh, by our marketing firm on behalf of the economic development efforts uh, relative uh, to the town and the, the presentations have been made here and also in a in a public uh, fashion at the airport we, where we had a very well attended uh, presentation with with local business representatives from in and around the airport area which was an excellent excellent uh, 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 get together one that I think we should do more of but part of that presentation our marketing representative did mention the word gaming casino so I've seen it come up several times in our presentations and it appears to be part of uh, you know whether it's direct or indirect part of our economic development uh, uh, material and that concerns me and bothers me and I'd prefer as one individual counselor not to have that associated to the the great effort that's been accomplished so far by our planning staff our economic development task force, the planning board, Dave Karen, and also the council up here. I mean, this council uh, came out of the gate two years ago and made economic development our number one goal. We did the same thing this year. I think we're all pretty much in lockstep that that's something that's very, very important to us. Uh, and the resolution that I put together in consultation with, with Dave Karen and Dave alone is is pretty straightforward. It 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 says that we should continue doing what we're doing, continue our focus, uh, but also keep in mind that, that uh, economic development needs to reflect community aesthetics and goals and our priorities, uh, and also focus, continue our focus on high-quality development, <laughs> high-quality jobs. And uh, personally, I don't think that from a marketing and, and public presentation standpoint, the town should should have this as part of that. So this resolution is essentially my way of saying that I think the council should take a leadership position on this and come out and say that we are going to continue doing what we're doing and stay the course, but we're not interested in uh, encouraging or including this particular element 
in our economic development focus. Uh, and as a counselor, I, I have the ability, as all of these counselors do, to bring forward a resolution or an ordinance at any time for discussion. I individually can't make this happen. I can bring it forward, which is what I did. And now I'm looking for the rest of the council to discuss this in public session, and, and we'll see where we go. Are you going to allow the public to talk point, to this? Point of order first, before you even start. Yes, sir. Reed Clark, 79 Stonehenge Road. Okay, I, I come up here and make jests once in a while. I come up here and lighten everything up maybe once in a while. This one I'm here on strictly um, how to go business, how to do things business. Not what you think, or what you think, or what you think, or what you think, or what you think, but how things should be done. As far as I know, I was in the hospital five days, and I was in Washington for five days. So I have 10 days obliterated. As far as I know, I don't think the governor has signed a petition for gaming. The answer is yes or no. I fully understood that. Yeah, okay. I didn't know whether... There's no, read. nothing's been No, signed. okay. So... I'm not an idiot. I know that. Oh, no. No. No, but I didn't. I didn't. I was out of it for 10 days. Um, the, the second question is, therefore, if no gaming bill has been presented, then there is no law. And if you all make a decision that we don't like gaming and the gaming bill hasn't been presented, I don't know how that makes you feel. But let's assume the gaming bill is presented and passed tomorrow. Then the next way to do things is to have a public hearing and find out how we, the public, like this. And if you g folks, I keep saying gentlemen, I didn't mean. That's okay, Reed, I'll forgive you. <laughs> if you all start by saying before you have the pulse of the taxpayers which you represent, and you start by saying, I don't like it, then you are presuming that we don't like it, and therefore, and you all, some of you all may quit in March, and some of you all may not, but it's not appropriate to discuss, in my opinion, of course, it's not appropriate to discuss something that has not been passed and cannot be therefore thought about without getting our input and therefore having a public hearing to get our input on it. Now, having said that, does that mean I'm for gaming casinos? I have no idea whether I am or not. But the thing is that the way to do things is A, B, and C, and not C, A, and B. I don't think you all should discuss this at all from the... Um, uh, until the until the bill is passed, and then uh, until you've had a public hearing, getting the pulse of the taxpayer. So, Reed, let me let me reiterate what I said. Okay. Well, yeah. Right. Okay. Let me reiterate what I said. It's been included in presentations made on behalf of the town of Londonderry in public session. I don't. Personally, I don't believe it should because I believe economic development is an extension of the policy of the town council. So after having seen this in several presentations, I felt that someone needed to step up, and I did. And this, this is a resolution on economic development. It's not a resolution on gaming or gambling as a larger issue. 
that's going to be decided at some future point